<laughs> Come and say hello to the camera, Quacho. Say hello to the camera, lad. You're on air rad, aren't you? Quacho's on air rad. When he wants to slam himself, he slams to the ground. I would like the 7R on air in the future, at some point. I would like air rad. I reckon it's sick. I reckon it makes the difference on any car to make it look sicker. I would like it in the future. Now, thanks for tuning back in. Hope you're looking forward to another random video. I'm hoping to do a couple of bits in today's video, maybe a bit of DIY, sort some of that out. I've got boxes everywhere. This wall's sort of a lost cause. This desk's sort of a lost cause. Um, yeah, it's maybe like a bit of DIY, a bit of cleaning, a bit of detailing, whatever. Sort of living the dream. Dogs, cars, bikes, what could possibly go wrong? You've recently been watching the channel, you'll know I'm absolutely mad for car detailing at the moment. This is me set up right now in the corner while I'm staring at behind the camera. I've just got so many different types of products, different stage cleaning methods and stuff. I'll show you some new stuff that I've got in the last couple of days. It's pretty sick and I'm hoping to use like two new products today and try them in the 7R on the interior and see what you guys think. Before we go any further in today's video, don't forget if you want to support me brand owner, the link is in the description. Right now we've got a pretty sick deal, you get a free snapback cap with every single order. So if you're ordering a t-shirt, a hoodie, whatever, jerseys, sticker packs, wallets, we do loads of different products. Make sure you add your free snapback cap from the hat section in the page and you'll literally get it for free, it's that simple. Got some pretty cool things to show you, I've always got loads of things to show you, pretty much like living the dream, doing the car detail and think at the moment. I feel like I can just come out my back door and do it in here. It just feels sick, I'm hyped on it. Like I said in the last video, I never ever wanna like take it anywhere or do it for a living or whatever. I'm just obsessed with show cars, shiny. What you will remember, if you missed, if you watched the last video, you will remember I did me wheels. I took all my wheels off and I did a, um, like a cleat, a strip, a wax and painted me hubs. Now, a couple of things. Number one, it probably was quite stupid to paint the face of me hubs because when you look at a standard wheel, the inside of the wheel where it butts up to the hub is never painted. Cars had a bit of a clean. It's looking pretty clean. Nice. It's so shiny. So you remember the only corner that I had to do was this front left corner. I actually finished it sealed it all, waxed it all, tire shined it all the next day. So yeah, it's looking pretty stealth now. Now, what I wanted to show you is, whilst you've tuned in, I got some new products. Once again, chemical guys. I literally buy all this stuff, pretty much. I just get hyped on it, that's all. Like I buy Maguire's. I have bought Auto Finesse quite a lot in the past, but Auto Finesse were kind enough to give me all this stuff, which is pretty sick. Actually, you've been using me Chemical Guys Snow Foamer. I used it with Maguire's Snow Foam, Ultimate Snow Foam, and I reckon that there is the perfect combo. Use this product, it's called Activate. You shake it up to activate like that. And I used it on the right side of my bonnet yesterday. So as you can see, I would say that that looks a lot glossier than that. So this car has been stripped with clean slate. Um, it's been stripped with clean slate shampoo. Then it was waxed with Ultra HD. Then it was waxed with Ultra HD um, Auto Glim Wax as like its main sealant. And then just playing around with different products and stuff. But I would say you can see the difference on the right side to the left side. I think it looks a lot more hazy and stuff over here. And I think it's really sealed this side and made it pretty glossy. I actually did the full right side of the car in that um, Activate product. It's pretty crazy, to be honest. Um, I actually decided to buy some brown microfibers for doing um, three-stage leather cleans because I end up using like these and these. And they're all different and they've got different products on them. And I don't think you want to be putting anything glossy on leather. So I got that. I actually bought this as well, but this is kind of sketchy. I bought this because quite a lot of people went absolutely mental on me for using a magic sponge on my leather, which really in hindsight, it probably is pretty rough. Um, I think if you've got enough dirt build up, it just takes the dirt off and not the leather. But I do understand and appreciate why some people would think that is rough. So anyway, I opted into going for the less rough option, which is a good leather brush. But then when I got it home, I actually seen that it said that this product can cause cancer. 
So I was a bit like, I know there's a lot of things in the world that can cause cancer, but obviously it's kind of sketchy to read it. Why bother? That's how I kind of seen about it. So I'm not 100 on this. What do you guys think? Setting up the head cam is hard. When I first got the head cam, I kind of thought like, if you just had it, say on your head, it sits on your head like this. I sort of thought, if you just had it, like that, and it was like, I le well, to be fair, in the first video I had it sort of like that. Not like that, but probably like... Uh. <laughs> in the first video I kind of thought, if you had it like that, that it'd be sort of eye level, wherever your eyes are looking, that's looking. But what I didn't really think about was, your eyes are lower, so when you can see, the camera would effectively... 100% be higher, so I need to tilt it down. I hope it doesn't give like a weird perspective though. I ideally, it'd be nice to be able to wear this and focus on detailing and doing things to bikes and stuff like that. Why the hell not? Some of you may be wondering where in the hell Gaz is right now. We actually went filming yesterday. We went to Manchester and I got all the way to Manchester to ride Earlham Skate Park and Farmer John's and I was in slip-on shoes. So we didn't even end up getting a video, we didn't end up getting any content or anything. It was just a disaster of a day. Followed up from a disaster of a day trying to fit the wheels to the Polo GTI. Which is why I'm back on another solo video. So, just trying. Basically, sometimes, sometimes videos work, sometimes they just turn into a disaster. Days like yesterday, you're left with a choice where you're like, I don't feel comfortable in my shoes. Will I end up in a tree because I'm thinking about my shoes rather than actually doing me riding? Do you know what I mean? I just could do without it, basically. So, there you go. Anyways, so, I'm going to put it, I think, like... I reckon I'm going to go quite excessive on the down beast. Maybe even more, like that, and see what it looks like. What do you reckon? So, basically, I just want to show you... I'm going to clean the panel down with this. This is just a quick detail, like a ceramic quick detailer. Nothing like that I'm trying to show you actually right now on the channel. Oh, it's just because I went for a drive last night. Um, Dan from Kill All Wipe has come and bought them other wheels off me last night. That was supposed to go on the Polo, but didn't fit. So they're gone, which I'm pretty hyped about because I got some money back for them. By the way, um, that ceramic detailer is actually pretty crazy, just so you know. Basically, I got sent that with a shampoo before I even knew sort of what Chemical Guys was. I'd had a lot of people message me and say, use Chemical Guys, it's proper sick, you'll buzz off it. I didn't really know what it was, I just kind of was like, all right, I'll try it. So they sent me a shampoo and a bucket and I was literally just, I was in. Now I'm in, in. So basically, I've got one of these little polish and applicator pads I've got. Activate, which is a pretty cool product, it sort of comes in two stages. You shake it to activate it. I just put it on the applicator pad, more so than the car. I find, why not? Bit of a light misting on the car. It's quite a mad product, it's quite easy. The only thing I would say is, I found it sort of hard to get off the car. So you just want to go in straight lines. Apparently, I see this online, people saying you should go in straight lines. But I did the left side of my car. Pretty sick. It's chilling, isn't it? Chilling, in it, Dixie? And then you just let that set. Let it go matte as, you'll see it now start to take shape and go matte as. It'll go actually like a white colour. Like you can, don't know if you can see it over here, I don't think you can on the lens, but you see it start to go like a matte colour. And then it buffs off pretty sick. But I'm actually pretty impressed with this product, to be honest. It buffs off like hard though. But yesterday when I was doing it, I was actually, you're not supposed to do it, but I was doing it in direct sunlight outside. So I'm hoping now it comes off a bit easier in the garage on a normal natural panel, takes its time to set and is a bit different. So I'm hyped. So basically, as you can see, certain sections of it are starting to go like white. It's actually sort of doing its job properly in here, in the sun outside yesterday, I think I gave it an unfair first test. It still worked, it's just wants to set in its own time, so now it'll be bonding to that um, top layer of lacquer and wax and stuff underneath it. But yeah, as you can see, it's coming on, drying up. Yesterday it was drying in like 20 seconds because the panel was so hot, so it's probably ideal conditions in here 
to actually be doing it. Because it actually does say on the back of the bottle, it actually does say, wait like 15 minutes, look, allow, allow to dry for 15 minutes. And basically yesterday, I was only able to allow it to dry for like a minute tops. So I reckon I'll actually probably maybe be able to buff it off nice and easy in here. And then I'll know it was just because I was doing it in the sun. But I'm pretty glad that I've sort of showed you guys this sort of, guess, I guess it's sort of like gloss enhancers. So it's gloss enhancers, sealant protection, maximum shine, weatherproof protection works on all cars. I actually didn't really want to get into this in today's video, but I thought I'd just show you what it is actually like, because I was quite impressed with it. I think you can kind of see the difference. You can see some like bluey colour looking stuff here where you can see where it's not that sealed and on this side it just looks fully stealth looks really nice on that side where I've already done it the car is coming on to be honest I'm, I'm seriously considering putting it on here but it wouldn't be any time soon it'd be like probably in the future I'm mean, still enjoying the coilovers and I love how it drives it feels absolutely mega now it's 60% rear wheel drive I think if you're into your cars like genuinely into your cars I feel like you do everything. Yeah, to be honest, in all fairness, you do everything in life because it gives you something back. And like, I think car stuff, it gives you like a chilled day, but at the end of the day, you get a sick result. So it doesn't matter what you do in your wheels, your tires, your panels, your paint, your seats, your interior, driving it, whatever, you feel it, you get something back every time you do something with a car. That's why I'm so hyped on cars at the moment. Just feel like it's sick. It's cool. So check that out. I've got it on my little detail and trolley. Check that out, as you can see, it's all gone matte. Do a little bit of a haze test there. As you can see, ready for coming off. I think you'll be impressed with this product. You do have to buff it quite a lot compared to some products. To be honest, it is actually coming off a lot better than when I did it outside in the sun. It was probably just the fact that it was setting too fast in the sun outside. Breaks me hard to see how many little chips I've got on that. Check that out. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's a really good product, to be fair. I'd be interested to see how, like, hydrophobic it is after something like this. It looks like it'd be crazy. That's half the panel there. Done. As you can see. Looks, there is actually still bits on it, to be fair. My bumper's split here, where it's been scrubbing. It's opened my bumper up a bit. It's kind of annoying, but worth it for the lows. How chilled is that? So as you can see, you do have to do quite a bit of work to get it off, but it probably means that it is a pretty durable product. Probably means it is pretty thick. Kind of sticks and bonds to the car, which is what you want for like hydrophobic behaviour and stuff. I think you'd be surprised how much this is probably still there. I reckon it's well good, mate. Actually really impressed with it. Looks pretty durable as well. Like if it's this hard to get off the car once it's set, then I'd imagine it's probably that hard for the rain, dirt, in between washes for it to come off, to be honest. Buzz off the R. It's a beast. So like, I didn't really want to make this video about doing this stuff, but I just thought it'd be kind of cool to show you. Check that out. That looks legitimately insane. 
Check it. Kind of sick. So if we go from like there, as you can see, pretty flat. I do need to hit all this with a proper wax and a nice sealant. Like, quite a lot of water spotting because I used, um, see like that water stain. And I don't think we paint like that bad though. I reckon it's pretty chilled. It's got that sort of blue tinge to it under these lights where it just needs a nice sealant over the top. But then when you look at it like that now, jeez, that looks sick. Look at that. Look shiny as now. Check that out. I don't see many hours when I'm out and about on the road that look like to get this level of um, sealants and waxes and stuff. I don't actually see that many when I'm out and about. So if you've got one, send me some pictures or something. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I think if it's that hard to get off the car, I think it means it leaves stuff like bonded to it. And I reckon it will give you like quite a heavy level of protection. Something else I wanted to try, but it's for a future video, not today, is this stuff. This is meant to be sick, this. It's called black light for black cars, as you can see. Black light. Apparently it's got like a pigment in it. Like normal polish is white. This one's like a purpley black colour. It's got black, basically it's got black pigment in it, which means you'd actually get quite a lot of like depth in your black paint and stuff. So it's looking sick. Check that out. Looking shiny as. Now I'm going to switch this to the head cam and we're going to get stuck into this interior. I'm ready for it. Now, first thing we need to do is get all the rubbish out this car. To be honest, my interior is not that bad. I've done all my seats the other day. My seats are pretty clean. A few crumbs now, but they're pretty clean. I'm focusing today a bit more on the dashboard all around here and the door cards all around here and stuff. The door shuts and all that. I want to get them all sealed up and dialed. Um, with no nonsense, invisible, super cleaner, colorless, odorless. And we're just going to start out with this. We're going to start in a pretty basic spot at the back here behind the headrest. I've not actually used this product yet, so I'm excited to try it with an interior brush. Get it all in there. And just see how clean this brings this centre section behind here because it's driving me insane out there. Here it is. Hope you're enjoying, like... The new passion. I get pretty hyped. More so than if I see like a mountain bike, even being dead honest. If I see like someone's bike like Kashima out and Hope Parts and all that, I probably buzz more if I see like an aired out car. So it's just the truth. At the moment, things change. I change a lot. Life changes, doesn't it, over the years, but it does feel a little bit like that's where I'm heading. Whatever. Don't fight it. Live the dream. All right, I'm going to use this this microfiber because I only used a bit of it before. Let's see how this one comes out. Oh, wow, that's great. That is great, that. Look at that. Jesus. That's like brand new. That is legitimately like brand new. That's not even nearly complete either, but I would say generally... Generally, I'm pretty hyped on that. I'm trying to just keep that brush off my leather because I cleaned my leather the other day, did like a two stage, three stage, and yeah. Pretty happy with the condition of my leather for the price. Actually, wingbacks are usually pretty expensive out of Audis. You can get the Golf ones a bit cheaper sometimes. That came in like the Mark V, R32s and that. But the actual wingbacks that come in, the Audi ones, the shape's a tiny bit different and these like sections are a little bit different and they're personally the ones that I'm more into, say, than the VW ones. So I actually got them pretty cheap. I think I paid about 1,900 quid for them. And like nowadays, they're quite rare. They're not even in the newer Audis and stuff now, so... They're only going to get rarer, as well. I'm one of them, innit? Look at that. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you can even see that, but that is nuts how clean that's got that. And then I'd follow up on that with a sealant. So what we'll do is we'll probably blast the whole dashboard with the brush, get it all sorted, and then 
Actually, I, pro I should probably hoover all this this stuff out, all the rubbish and stuff. I should probably hoover all them out first. Although, actually, I think you can remove them these days. I think you can actually remove them. I've done this before a couple of times. GoPro battery there. Um, yeah, little toggles like that. And you can remove them. And then I can just clean them separate outside the car. <laughs> Frenchies iron that straight up then. They do say that this is odourless, but I do reckon it's got a tiny bit of a smell in a good way, like a clip. Maybe it's just actually like a sterile smell. Like actually smells like it cleans, as mad as that sounds. I'm hyped to have like bare, bare like cleaned, like not like a greasy formula all over it that like sort of half protects, seals, tries to do everything. I was speaking to the guys at Chemical Guys and they were saying like it's probably one of their best selling products in their store. Jesus. Sick that. Can hear the Dobermans outside. They're crazy. We've got three Dobermans, two Frenchies. Got five dogs. You haven't met Django. Django's a rescue. We got him from Liverpool. That's six months old. He's about seven or eight months now. He's pretty sick. He's European. He's a monster. Got two intact males, four males in total, and Dixie's the only female. To live in the solo dream. Dogs are like show cars. If you're into it, you're just into it. It's that simple. You have like your favourite breeds and stuff, but in general. Looks sick this. Not sure how much of this will actually make the cut, but I mean I could try and do like a really long video. It just depends how much people want to watch it. Really. I guess that's where we're at now. What do people want to watch on the internet now though? A lot of people comment, I'm here for the riding, but then when you actually look at the stats and the views on the riding videos, they never actually do as well. So I need to get a new one of these. This is all chipped away and the proper deer though. I think you could probably get a standard one to be fair from like TPS or something, but the um, the ones from like the carbon ones and stuff, they're really expensive. Hundreds real carbon ones. Yes. Out in the polo. I've just picked the polo back up. I think for about the fourth time. So, long and story, long story short of this situation is um, when I first got the polo off Gaz, I absolutely love the polo by the way, I want to put it out there before we get into its life journey on where it's sort of started, where it is now, what my future plans are for the polo. I sort of started the polo, right, so going back really far, I bought it once off Gaz. Gaz bought it back off me, then I bought it again off Gaz, and that brings me to this story now. Basically what happened was, I bought it off Gaz thinking it was going to be a water pump um, change for like £300, and it ended up needing like a head gasket, a radiator, all kinds of stuff, like a lot more than what I originally thought it was going to be. The original bill was like £2,000 to fix it with like 12 or 13 hours of labour straight up. So it was, it was a big bill, a lot of parts, a lot of different bits that had to be bought. It basically got a full new water coolant system, a head gasket, loads of other bits and pieces. Took it to a company to get a software change on it. Come back that there was loads of issues like engine mount, intercooler, was um, there was a pipe hanging off the intercooler. 
a bunch of other bits and pieces including a bald tire or a worn tire or a damaged tire I'm not sure I can't remember um, another bill that come to like 1300 pounds which was crazy um, so I took it to a mechanic that I know and he's pretty sick he's been doing a little bit of stuff with me recently and the bill was squashed from 1300 to about 600 and odd which is pretty sick so that was a bit cheaper it needed an alternator which was sort of like a 200 bump up on that bill so we've had quite a lot of work done on it now when they were in doing the 700 pound bill i had it back for the first time i thought it was going to be dead smooth to own the polo and drive the polo and live the dream in the polo a water coolant pipe got jammed in the fan and blew the fuse on the top of the battery now they're pretty basic to get but i'd already driven it down to the garage to get him to look at it so i thought rather than driving the car and cooking it i'll just wait till he orders the party and he does it for us so here i am garage trip number three i've got the polo back and it is in full working up garage no garage trip number four that was and it is in full working order so i'm pretty hyped we've got a tyre light but I'm putting some new wheels and tyres on it anyway and we've got an airbag light which needs turning off so all good all good in the hood Polo's running pretty sweet now lovely bit of backfire it's quite a crazy car 20 valves are so sick the steering wheel's feeling pretty sick look at it it's actually quite small to be fair it's like a 300mm one but it's ended up feeling quite small pretty hyped on it though love the tartan as well so yeah that's pretty much where we're at polo's a little machine little boost gauge it's a sick car what a sick car nice dark roof lining as well i reckon that's pretty sick about this car dark roof lining little seat belts as well pretty detailed for like a 20 valve something of this age i think you get quite a lot of car with one of these you get quite a lot of car for the money in a little polo gti you genuinely do get a lot of car for the money it's nuts what a beast yeah so see you back at the garage peace out back in the game back in the game back in the garage you all right rocco lad how you doing boss man Back in the garage. Ready to complete the dashboard cleanse. We are recording, as you can see. And basically I'm going ham now. I'm going in. Deep cleanse now. Going for the full central deep cleanse. Focusing on a section at a time. Is one clean looking cockpit. That's what you want. That's how clean you want your car. Food you eat, drinks you drink, things you do, mileage, exhaust gases on the road. A lot of air from the outside ends up in your cabin. How clean are the roads? Probably not very. And I'm talking now. This is one clean dashboard. Um, I mean, you can actually see that it is actually a lot cleaner than the other half now. Pretty much got a distinctive line where it looks a little bit more matte. Less brown than that side. That side looks pretty brown. I mean, I have actually cleaned this recently, but not to this degree, not with a brush, with no nonsense cleaner, to be honest. Rocco! I'm at right now full dashboard on the top is done which means we can clean all that down 
Looks so fresh now. Actually looks like matte. That's how it should look. I bet it didn't even come this clean from the factory. It's actually been quite a chilled day, to be honest. I started earlier, did all of this, then when I got the polo, then smashed through loads of owner orders, and now we're back here, finishing the dashboard. So, pretty chilled day. Having a brew. Making it a reality in the garage. I'll show you the dash on the actual good camera. Check this out. So, as you can see, that is actually mega. So clean, degreased all the way up. Please ignore the steering wheel. This for now, and then all this, like a matte colour, all the way around there. Fully cleaned, all done. I've done all the sides. Looks pretty sick. Pretty much on all the plastics that go up here from the door and all the way around here, the whole thing's clean, including that door sill. So the only thing I've got left to actually clean is this door sill. So chill. Especially using like odourless and colourless. It really doesn't doesn't sort of matter what it cleans. Why are you spiting? Hey, Reggie's! What are you doing? Unbelievable! These are actually the worst bits. These are so greasy and grimy. All the interior sections. Yeah, happy with that. Looks sick. So that was one. This thing's so grimy. Base mode. Clean as. Too easy. And last but not least. That one. Chilled as well. Quite sure you little show off. You little show off, what are you doing? Dixie! Dixie! Can't believe Dixie had pile. Look at that. Look at that scar. It's crazy, Dixie. It's crazy, isn't it, Quacho? Interior sections that I've just cleaned. And as you can see, that is pretty goddamn clean. And that one as well. Rude this now. So sick. It's the cleanest I've ever, ever, ever had and seen an interior. Pretty much in my existence. So there you go. So, I've changed my pad on this thing. So, they're just like little Velcro stick-on pads as you can see. So I've changed your pad, I've got a brand new clean pad, nothing on it, nothing can get scratched. I've got a blue microfiber which are for my sealants and my interior dressings and stuff, anything greasy. Um, I'm going to show you this, it's got like a bit of a black pigment in it. You're just polishing it in, basically just rubbing it into all them grooves, all them little crannies. This is the, this is the, the darkest, sort of wettest looking, shiniest, um, one that they do on chemical guys and I just thought like as long as it's clean and I know it's clean I reckon it'll be pretty sick to put something quite glossy on it just gives it like a blacker look look at that just looks blacker a bit more old school a bit more retro I'm into the new stuff like all the matte looking plastics and stuff but I don't think anywhere near as much as the old school stuff where they had like leather dashboards and stuff so as you can see it leaves it sort of looking like that and then you just buff it off and repeat if you want it darker as you can see looks pretty sick to me yeah i'll do this section if you can hear the noises what's going on right now so frenchies fighting biting each other come on calm down how am i supposed to film videos of you two little micro bullies you little micro wolves so all done sealant off did all the underneath all around there all straight through there, everything's been sort of murdered out again. So it's nice and treated after being cleaned legitimately. So that was like a bit of a two-stage detail on the dashboard. I know it's not probably the most exciting video that I've ever filmed, but I hope some of you found it pretty relatable and enjoyable. 
so that probably is going to be the end of today's video I don't know if you can hear this I've got Frenchies panting going absolutely mental so I'm going to get them out and go out and do something I hope you've enjoyed today's little random clean and waxing sealing treating vlog car detailing's definitely like right now in my blood like if you look I'm going in on it Everything I think about is usually to do with detailing and show cars. I'm just pretty into it. Like, it feels pretty relaxing in comparison to, say, mountain biking, BMX, and all them hobbies. I have to get out and do a lot, and it's pretty dangerous. And I just kind of like the chill of, like, car detailing and stuff. I can feel myself going fully, fully full steam towards it. Just pretty into it. Um, yeah, bit of a random video, I know. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you, make sure you get involved in the comments below. Make sure you got your brew for the next video. And make sure you get involved in the comments below and let me know any car build ideas, any bike build ideas, any ideas for any DIY style content I'm pretty keen for. Get involved under the video and I'll try my hardest to get back to you. Um, that's going to be the end. Of, that is going to be the end of today's video. Don't forget on owner right now, you get a free snapback cap with every single order. So if you're buying a t-shirt, a hoodie, a jersey, um, a wallet, sticker pack, whatever you're buying, Get over to the hat section of the page and add your favourite snapback cap because it'll be absolutely free. It's that simple. It's that straightforward. Thanks for the support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.